I want to give a quick demonstration of the um, Internet Archive uh, Hattie Trust process that I've been tinkering around with with MarkEdit. Um, it's kind of the proof of concept. So if you happen to be doing digitization with the Internet Archive and are a Hattie Trust member and are looking to uh, ease the transformation, the, tra the moving of data back and forth, um, Take a look at the process and let me know if that uh, there's assumptions that I'm making here that uh, that I'm missing. A um, couple things about how this process works. Um, there are assumptions in terms of data that's been provided to Internet Archive. Um, Internet Archive creates a structural metadata file uh, that includes the um, ARC information as well as an, uh, an accessible URI. Uh, those two pieces of information need to be um, sent to the Hattie Trust. Um, the uh, also is um, for most folks, uh, metadata that's provided to the Internet Archive generally in a MARC XML record. Um, the assumption is that those two pieces of information are at the Internet Archive and can be pulled um, as part of this process. Uh, what this process does is it um, will search the Internet Archive uh, between a period of dates through a collection of your choosing. Uh, we'll extract those individual metadata files, um, individual XML metadata files, extract the individual pieces that need to be pulled, merge them together, and, and finish with a process where you have a single uh, MARC XML file uh, that includes um, the uh, information for the ARC um, and access URI. Uh, the information basically needs to be in the 955 um, for the uh, Hadi Trust to um, uh, go get uh, the digitized data from the Internet Archive. So I'm going to show you the proof of concept here. So uh, the way that we uh, kind of thought about implementing this um, for ease of use here at Ohio State, um, and probably ease of reuse at other places would be as a plugin. Um, so MarkEdit has a plugin, and I've loaded this myself um, into kind of my uh, development instance here. Um, so it'll be called the Internet Archive and How You Trust Pro Packager. Um, essentially what you have is a uh, tool that uh, comes up. Um, your institution label is going to be uh, the collection that's searched um, in the Internet Archive. Essentially what's happening in the background is it's passing a collection search with date modifiers um, through the uh, uh, search page and asking to return back um, XML. So um, I'm going to use the University of Illinois um, site because I know that there's about 60 items that can be pulled um, over the course of the last 10 days. So you give it the institution label, uh, whatever that collection happens to be. Um, you give it the date. I'm going to do um, from the 10th to the 22nd. And then um, a save file. So this is where the, um, the XML file is going to reside. So I'm just going to create a, a dump a test file there. Um, so that's where it's going to go. And then when I'm finished, I hit the process and the tool goes out. It starts asking for information um, and collecting that data. And so um, you can see that uh, it's processing through. There's uh, 67 results that um, the Internet Archive has responded back with um, based on the query. Uh, the way that the plugin works is it checks for the, the data. It looks for the structural file, which all Internet Archive files will have because that's something generated by Internet Archive. Uh, and then it looks for the metadata file. Uh, which may not be there for all of the data. Um, at Ohio State, for example, a lot of our older documents didn't have uh, MARC XML data attached to them, so I couldn't use this tool for that process, though there is the potential to potentially connect this to something like a Z39.50 engine to take a title and search against a local catalog. Um, but I haven't uh, really thought about doing that at this point. Um, so the process is finished, and when it's done, um, I can close these up, and I can go to um, my data file. I dropped it onto my desktop, and we can find the test file that I generated. It'll take it just a second to open an oxygen, um, but you can see that the um, test file that's been generated is essentially just a uh, MARC XML data um, that captures uh, the metadata that had been 
um, at the Internet Archive and embeds into it um, this 955 field, which includes information from the Internet Archive, uh, and then packages it together as a single uh, MARC file, which should be, if I understand the, uh, the Hathi Trust process correctly, um, what's needed in order to um, uh, ingest the data uh, from Internet Archive to the Hathi Trust, although that's, I guess, we're going to be um, working through here over this week, um, actually making sure that that actually is the, the process that works. Um, but that's essentially how it works and how it's done. Um, there are a couple things that I've noticed looking at a few other institutions' um, data files. Um, uh, I've seen generally um, always mark XML data if there's metadata there. I see some people pass just mark data and Internet Archive will make just the binary mark data available. Um, I'm not certain if there are uh, institutions that only send the mark data um, so that there would be just mark data rather than mark XML data available um, from the metadata page. I guess that's something that would be interesting to find out from people. Um, but otherwise, um, it's, a, it's a fairly straightforward process that is pretty much designed just for moving providing the Hathi Trust with the information it needs to be able to collect the data. If you need to do additional stuff like download the actual image files or uh, for your own local use or other things like that, um, uh, you would probably need to still do other work around um, to harvest that data. Um, like I said, this is primarily for um, making sure that the data that you're having, um, Internet Archive, digitize and store for you um, available easily to the Hathi Trust. Um, so essentially that's the process. Um, like I said, we're, we're working through it here at Ohio State to make sure that this process works, at least for us. Um, but uh, if you happen to do this work now and, and think that this might work for you or are noticing some things that, that don't quite work, might not work within the assumptions that I've made, let me know.